Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to answer the question, what is Music Brains Picard? So basically, in short, it's a uh, cross-platform music tagger. And cross-platform means uh, runs on Apple, Linux, Windows, as here. And music tagger basically means it organizes your music. This includes the file structure, uh, as well as the tags, the metadata uh, included within the files. Um, and it's heavily customizable. But let's, let's look at the very basics. Um, so I've kind of, uh, I've prepared two albums here to show you what Music Brains can do. So uh, this one's actually already been tagged. So let's just rename this Test. Um, so this is an example where I've got an album that uh, already... Uh, has good tags. I'm just going to drag this in. It's going to automatically be clustered. Now a cluster is based on the folder that these are in um, and because this folder has all the tracks from the same album uh, it's clustered them together which is perfect because I want to look up this as a group. I don't want Picard to split them up and if we click on each one of this we can see we've got great tags already. We've got the artist, we've got the length and so on. Uh, the album name. So what we're going to do after clustering, uh, we're going to click on lookup here and lookup uses the tags, the existing tags, to try and match it to the Music Brains database. And here we go. So this panel on the left is our local files and on the right here we have what it's found in Music Brains. Perfect. And look at that, Best of the Breeze 2. Great. And this has got some updates since I last tagged it. We've got the arranger, engineer, and the genre as well. So that's great. We can keep our files uh, updated. Now, what I can do here is I can just save a couple of these at a time. So I'm just going to save this first one. I'm going to see, look, it's, uh, it's created a new folder up here. Um, I can drag these around. I can double check that they're in the right place. So again, this, this part on the right here, these music notes, these are items in the database. We haven't matched anything. This is our files and we can drag and drop and just make sure everything's matched correctly. We can right click here, other versions, if there's a digital media or we've got a vinyl rip, we want to find the vinyl and so forth. But in this case, I'm sure that this is all correct. Uh, and before running this on mass on your collection, do a backup. When you hit save, there is no going back. This will rearrange and re-tag all your files. But uh, I'm perfectly sure this is correct, so I'm going to hit save. Now look, we can see everything's been moved to various artists folder here. We'll open that up. We go Best of the Breeze 2. And it's followed this naming convention. Oh, this is a big folder. Some more elevator music play here. Um, okay, so it's uh it's all it's named it to our uh to how we wanted to name it. And that's basically what Picard can do for you. And we can see it all here are in options. I mean these three options are basically what we're talking about. Rename files. So it's renaming these uh these tracks here, 101 Queen. Uh and it is also uh, moving the files, so it moved it into this new folder, various artists, and then it saved the tags. Uh, so what it did down here, we can see these new values is what it applied. So here we go. Um, can't see it here, but it added pop to I want to break free, I believe. Here we go, pop rock so that's a new tag and that's the the data that is used in your player and your mp3 player it often uses the metadata here to look up stuff now i want to show you another cool function uh, i've got this other album here or a single actually that i've ripped from my collection from my cd collection and now this got ripped without any track information so i've got unknown artist unknown title it's all just a new folder over here. Um, and now Lookup's not going to work on this. What Lookup does is it uses your tags, uh, album, and so on in the cluster to try match to the Music Brains database. So we have this other button here, Scan. Now, we want to use this with caution because it doesn't keep clusters together. And it also ignores all the tags. It listens to the song, so to speak. 
Uh, we'll go over the trouble this can cause in a second. But for this release, let's click scan. Okay, and this is magical because this is the right album. Uh, somebody has submitted the, the Kusadi fingerprints uh, to the database of these tracks up here, submit a Kusadi. So now it listened to it and it found it. Even though we had uh, no, no tags here on the left, the current tags, you can add all these new tags with a click. And I've double checked that these matches are correct. I don't need to uh, rearrange them. Perfect. I'm sure about this one. So I'm going to hit save. And we can see once again, uh, it's added it to this folder, the Art of Cheese. And now uh, yours might look a bit different because I have a custom script on how to name these folders. So I want to include these details, CDR and so on. And it's named the tracks as well. Now let's show how it can go wrong. Oh, well, first of all, let's just say that's it. That is, that is what Music Brains Picker does. Done. Um, there's lots of things you can mess with in the options. You can only do some of those. You just want to save the tags. You just want to move the files, so on. You're, uh, you're pretty much done. But I'm going to dig in slightly deeper here because these are just uh, some things that trip people up. So I've got this big various artists release, Best of the Breeze that I'm going to drag in here. And now let's try scan on this. So remember last time uh, the other album is quite obscure. It had no tags, uh, would have been really hard to find, look up, wouldn't have found it. Uh, so let's try it on this big compilation of popular tracks. Let's hit scan. Okay, now we can already see it's adding some to Best of the Breeze 2. But it's also finding all these other albums. Now this track uh, trips up a lot of people because they say uh, Picard has stuffed up my library. It split everything up into different albums. That's because you're clicking, uh, you're clicking scan, or most likely that is the problem. Because what it's doing is it, again, it's ignoring current tags and it's listening to the track. Now it's not actually incorrect to say that this this track is on this compilation under the boardwalk. Because if you scan, Picard is uh, is guessing. It's using the most likely release after listening that these these tracks are on. So yes, some of them went on Best of the Breeze too here, and the rest got ungrouped. So that's just something to keep in mind. Scan and look up. Uh, you know, look up is the safer bet. And what I definitely don't want to do is accidentally select all these and then hit save. We're going to get a new folder for each one of these compilations. It's going to overwrite all of these uh, all of these tags. You cannot undo that. So what we can do, however, is this can be a good start if we don't have the tag. So we know that this is the correct album, Best of the Breeze 2. We can uh, we can drag and drop. We can drag all these in, or maybe to the left. We can drag them into Best of the Breeze. So that's not actually a bad way to do it. And then we can delete these. So it can still be useful. Can still be useful. Just again, you're going to need to manually rearrange a little bit before hitting that save button. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically what uh, what Picard can do. Again, let's step. Uh, <laughs> you can leave us if that's all you needed to know. Uh, but let's have another closer look. So I've got my file naming scripts here. So I've got different ones for audiobooks and primary. Um, so that is uh, depending on what I'm tagging. And let's have a quick look into options here. And then we're going to go to file naming. So here we go. Uh, move files when saving, yes. Um, again, we're not going to go through all the options. This is just to explain what, what's happening when I click save. There's so much to look at here. Here we're going to go edit file naming script. And there's lots of cool scripts online um, that you can copy off people, go in the forums, ask for help. This can do pretty much everything. And this is uh, this is for how to arrange your files. So we've got primary here. We can see I've done uh, there's different ways to do it depending on if it's a various artist or multiple discs. Um, and then we've got, for instance, special format. Uh, if the media CDR or a centimeter CD or cassette, add that to the end of the folder name and so on. Let's check out our audiobook. So audiobook is slightly different. 
Uh, I believe in this case I well, want it to be, we can actually see it at the bottom here, um, files will be named like this. So we have for audiobooks I've put the year after the album. I want the, uh, the name of the audiobook and then the year. Apart from that, not that different. Now you can set these settings on pretty much everything. So that's file naming, but tags, uh, you can also change how it tags. You can preserve, uh, you can preserve tags here. Um, and you can also, oh, I'm lost. Anyway, but I'm not restarting this video because it's been going for too long. So uh, let's just assume there's lots of other stuff here that you can get into. Um, scripting here we go this is what i was thinking this is for your tag script similar to uh the folder scripts before folder naming um this is where you can get some fancy scripts for setting all kinds of tags um and actually let's go even deeper okay so again leave us if you want we're, we're getting real deep here uh go to plugins i'm going to show you an example of how we can get really deep here classical extras uh, I've already installed this, but I've disabled it. So in your case, you click the download button and then we'll just tick this. It's going to enable it by clicking make it so. So this is a plugin. And now let's have a look. We go to options. Um, now I'm going to go plugins. Expand that. Here we go. Classical extras. Now look at this. All right. This is, uh, this is going to tag your classical music using works, using composers, uh, lots of options to how to do it and this is just we're just scraping the surface here so um you know you can you can semi-automate stuff you can drag it in just do a quick double check again you can't undo changes if you want that's all you need uh drag and drop and look up and then save boom done but if you want to if you want to dig into options you want to set up uh, your classical music um, you want to have uh, multiple uh, multiple setups for different music for how to uh, how to save stuff. Go for it uh, as deep as you like.